I actually want to uh, guys to understand this uh, how we actually do for by itself ourselves as well. Mm. So let's actually add uh, one more thing. Uh, mixer case. Uh, this is also a character array. I am going to. Uh, Changing mixer case in the sense, uh, if it is in, uh, uh, if the letter is in a small letter, then it's going to change it to capital letters. If the capital letters, then it's going to make it as a small letter. So that's what I'm actually doing here, changing the mixer cases. So here, uh, I'm I here and then uh, and then here I'm going to inside uh, for loop I'm going to mention this particular uh, if statements um, if uh, string i is a are equal to 65 and uh, here what I'm going to do here so as i said uh, for example here the string of i is uh, greater than or equal to 65 and then less than or equal to 90 uh, is nothing but uh, even if you could so go to the ascii table here um, what are the things that we have 65 and then 90 right so in between the 65 and 19 so this is in 65 and uh, 90 so if the characters are in between this particular thing area then we're going to uh, add uh, plus 32 if it is uh, uh, if it is in this particular condition then we're going to minus 32 so that's what I actually going to, that's what actually we are going to do here here itself so yeah then 32 so even this line and uh, this line does the same thing right so that's what we actually give. I'm just using this thing both are same. And see if I'm going to mention one more condition. Uh, that is, uh, we're going to mention as uh, so. Next, what do we have um, greater than or equal to, and uh, let's actually move to here. So we have 97 and then uh, 122. So that's what I'm actually going to do. 97. Seven and then um, now I'm going to mention is equal to 122. Uh, even if you can use this particular uh, open and close curly bracket, or else we thought open and close curly bracket also, uh, we can do it. But there is a difference uh, between using open and close curly bracket and without open and close curly bracket. So that's actually I'm going to tell you. Uh, so no need to worry about it. So yeah. So now after this, uh, uh, here what I'm going to do is, percentage is within double quotes, percentage is backward slash n, and then sing. I'm going to mention in this way. So here, and here uh, it actually we actually going to add this particular thing if it is in. Uh, uh, RSV are just subtracting it. So based upon this particular condition, we're actually doing it here, isn't it? And then finally, we are printing the particular string. So what are we actually going to replace all this particular array and then we are just printing this particular array. So that's what I'm actually doing here. And then, as I said, uh, here we're actually not using any open and close curly bracket uh, with our open and close curly bracket, I just mentioned it. Uh, but if you, you can do it, but you have to follow this indentation. I mean, the, the you can just have to give some tab space just press the, the, the tab and then you get the space, the tab space. You have to follow the tab space and then you can uh, you can you can write it uh, without open and close curly bracket. This is nothing but you have to follow this indentation. Uh, indentation in the sense that you have to space this particular space. Then only it actually work. If not, it it actually not going to consider as uh, this particular uh, string i inside this uh, else if block. Uh, either if this particular condition is true or false, 
be going to trigger if you are not following this particular spacing here. If you follow it, then it actually going to uh, assume as uh, this particular, if this particular condition is true, then it going to consider this thing. So it's going to consider that this particular, uh, it is inside this particular block. But you can also, one more thing here, uh, you may thought like uh, we have this but multiple lines, for example, as we have here, the for loop here. Inside for loop, we have multiple lines, like, right? Uh, one, two, three, four lines we have, but we are actually using it. If you remove this particular thing, we are actually following this indentation. You can be asked if we are following the indentation. We, so we can remove it, right? So, but not. If you, even if you follow this particular indentation, it actually going to uh, assume the only the first particular line. So whatever we have after this particular for loop or if condition or anything, uh, if you just follow the indentation, then it's going to consider as only the particular first line, not all the lines, only the particular first line. So only this particular uh, if statement is going to trigger all the time throughout this particular for loop, not all this particular condition, even if you have any other conditions, so it's not going to trigger at all. So that's what actually going to happen if you not using an open and close curly bracket. If you just remove this by open and close curly bracket, then it actually not going to happen. Only this particular condition is going to work, uh, not this as elf, elf box. So that's the reason you have to follow this uh, open and close curly bracket if you have a multiple lines. But if you have a, like very single lines, like uh, this particular has, we have its if statement. So we have only single lines, so we can follow this particular thing. But if you have a multiple lines, then you just use this particular open and close curly Then inside that you can have multiple lines, then it's going to consider as uh, only for this particular for loop. So that's about this difference is here. So let's actually call this particular function as we have. So I'm going to mention this particular string here. Uh, before that, uh, let's actually um, so I'm going to mention this a uh, uh, few uh, small letters and some capital letter in between and the small letters. So I'm just going to commenting it this particular thing because I'm going to trigger error because we're just using uh, this particular thing only, not uh, the small letters, right? So, so yeah. So yeah. So now see. So the first three letters we have is this uh, capital letters. Uh, in our output screen, we got a small letters and then the capital, capital, and then capital, and then small, and capital, capital. So if it isn't calculated, then it's going to make it as small letters, and small letters, and then it's going to be capital letters. So that's what actually we have done this as a mixed cases. So this is what about uh, the strings. So the few, there are, these are the few examples. So we're also going to look into some projects and all, like uh, once we've done some few concepts, so that's what actually we need some more concepts like uh, uh, it's not possible to do all like uh, projects uh, for each and every um, particular concept. So if you have some other concepts as well, then we can do it. So that's the reason I'm just uh, want to show this particular like very simple manner. Once we've done all those things, uh, this thing and uh, even coming videos, also we are going to look in the pointers and all those things. Once we've done all those things, then, then we're going to explore more about uh, the projects as well. Uh, we're going to do it. So no need to worry about the projects. So yeah, we'll do it. So now uh, coming to the, as I said, uh, we also have some other uh, uh, built-in functions in um, strings uh, that uh, C supports, right? As I said, so let's explore all those those things as well. Um, uh, string functions in C. So let's see all those things. Uh, maybe if possible, we have okay, yeah, for example, yeah, we have a Greek for Greeks as well. So yeah, so here we have a, this uh, string cat. Uh, this is a string cat function, uh, which will append the copy. So the string cat is nothing but, uh, so we have number of uh, functions, not about string cat and uh, string character and uh, string compare. So this is going to compare, we're going to compare the two strings. Uh, we're going to compare the two strings characters and then uh, string copy, we're going to copy the, um, string and then uh, we're going to copy the string from one particular uh, uh, what are we actually storing inside one particular variable we're going to copy that particular uh, string and then we're going to store uh, that's what we're actually going to work here and then string length as i said the string length is also one of the function that we have in a predefined function so yeah but the thing is like you have to uh, you have to include this particular uh, header file the string dot h you can actually you can uh, 
you can explore all these particular uh, functions that what we have inside the uh, greek for greeks not only this function we have uh, other functions as well maybe uh, i don't know whether the, how many functions that have they have mentioned in this particular greek for greeks yeah we have a lot of functions as well so you may uh, search in on google you can find a lot of functions as well so you, if you want you can also explore all those functions as well so but let's explore few functions uh, like this string uh, cat so what is the string cat uh, let's explore few one or two functions um, and that's going to be better i guess so for example yeah uh, we have a simon over here so let me comment it out and then and then uh sing act uh, mm, i am uh, i'm just mentioning i am uh, this also i'm going to comment it out and then now what i'm going to do is um string cat so as we discussed uh this was one of the function that we have a predefined function uh to utilize this particular function we have to include as we have like uh, hashtag include stdi board for uh, printf and the scanner function the same way uh we have to include uh, string dot uh, h uh regarding with the uh, uh, std lib dot h uh, we actually when this also there are some other inbuilt function and we actually explore it uh, later onwards so no need to worry regarding this also so yeah so this is a string dot header file so when we include this particular header file then we can actually utilize this particular function the predefined functions so now i'm going to mention this particular uh, string and then string to so we going to pass this particular two strings uh, whatever we have for so let me pass first one the string to and then and then string that going to be better i guess so that going to be form some sentence so yeah that's going to be better i guess uh, let's print it out first and then it's going to be better so we can actually see the output what actually is happening yeah let me print it out so yeah so we got the output as uh, i am sai manoho so string cat is nothing but uh, we just uh, uh, adding uh, both the strings so so this is what actually works here uh, and uh, uh, it's nothing but um, how it actually works internally is nothing but it's actually adding uh, this particular two strings uh, that's it so it's nothing but adding the um, true string so this is what actually going to happen internally so that's it so nothing else so it's what actually happens uh, internally so it's uh, nothing but uh, something else or something so just adding the uh, two things internally so that's how we actually addition subtraction all those things the same thing so even you can also explore as a string um, um yeah so maybe this particular thing um, string length uh string length as a uh, as for example yeah for example this particular thing yeah yeah for example see yeah for, yeah for string length uh, this is the, the string length is so if you if this is the same thing we are just uh, uh, doing in using this predefined function the string length so either way it's uh, true so but uh, the same thing going to happen internally as well maybe whether they they might be using this particular same logic or not is up to them but i don't i don't think whether they're using the same logic or not but uh, this is what actually happening the counting the things that's it so till now we have discussed all those things but uh, let actually explore how to take an input from the user so i'm going to declare some uh, variable uh, i'm just uh, giving some space that's it because uh, it will trigger some error because without it so we're just initializing something some space even space is also fine so and then next uh, i'm going to ask a user to and uh, this thing
and then the scanf function within percentage s. So we're actually taking the input from the user, I mean the string input. So we just have to specify the percentages. And then here we no need to um, use any ambassent. Uh, before that, we used to use this ambassent uh, white a lot, right? So for all the characters and the numbers, for everything we have in here, we use this particular string scanner function. Uh, when we're actually storing inside particular variable, we have to use this particular ambassent, right? But when it comes to a string, we no need to use it. When we are actually using this particular form of this where this person is, yes, we need to use it. It's not required. And then person is, uh, so this is what actually happened here. And then now let's uh, print it out. So it's asking you enter in string. So yeah, I have mentioned the size. So I'm just uh, putting other sizes. In. So this is what actually happening here. So now this is what we actually done. But uh, one thing here you have to understand here, for example, if I give a Sai and Manohar, if I give Sai Manohar, then it will print out. But if I give some space, let me do it out. If I give this some spacing here, Sai Manohar, then it's actually not printing it out. If whenever the space is figure, it's going to, uh, as in like null character. So it just uh, stop over this. It's not actually working this particular thing. So to do that, we can actually uh, write this particular thing by using some uh, conditions and then we can mention and then uh, for ignoring the space, all those things we can do. But uh, one more thing, uh, without doing all those such things, we have again the predefined function and then uh, the get is, so get us function, we have to be just using the get us function and then we're just passing this particular variable wherever you want to store. So I'm just passing it inside it. So now let's uh, run it out. It's asking me to enter. Easy. The programmer and in this backslash also is working. Everything is going to, uh, going to reading it out. So that's what uh, the use of uh, get as function here. Even this, uh, this kind of get a function, you can actually implement uh, uh, by user, user as a user defined function as well. You can do it as uh, you can actually uh, try to do that. Um, you can, you can, uh, it's, a, it's an assignment from you I mean, so that you can understand not how much uh, level you can understand and how actually you have to, you just uh, give it a try. If not, uh, just mention in the comment below. So I'll help you out. So you just give it a try, um, you just have to mention something, then you, you can actually do it by yourself uh, without using the getter function also, getter's function also, you can actually, uh, you you can mention the user defined function to do that as a, for uh, counting space and all those things. So you just give it a try. So this is all about uh, the strings concept. So that's all about uh, today's class. Uh, Thank you for joining. Uh, if you if you like my work, please do like, share, and subscribe to CoFocus. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching.